Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a few pieces of my sparring equipment, um, and I'm going to start off with the Winter Tree Crafts Brigandine Style Gorget. This is made out of leather and 18 gauge mild steel. It has uh, buckles on the side to attach it. I, keep, uh, I typically keep one side buckle just to make it easier to put on and off and everything. This is the outside, you can see all the rivets. And the inside. So starting in the back, there is a plate for the back of the neck, and then plates for the your back itself and the back shoulders. Look at the front here. There's a good plate for the front of the neck, front of the chest, and again the shoulders. And it goes on like this with the the front plate covering goes over the back. And same over on this side. This can take a little bit of getting used to sometimes, just uh, getting this thing buckled, but uh, it's not that hard to put on once you get used to it. There we go. And as you can see, good coverage on the front of the chest and on the shoulders, and also on the back of the neck and back itself. Just all the upper neck and upper torso nicely covered. Um, Winter Tree Crafts makes another gorget, which is more just around the throat, uh, a little on the front and a little on the back, but it doesn't have any shoulder protection. I like this model because uh, I've taken some nasty cuts and hits to the shoulder, and this has prevented me taking any, any real damage from it, which is nice. Um, this fits under my helmet, and it fits under my fencing jacket, uh, so it's a very compatible gorget. It just sort of fits with everything that I have, which is great. Um, this is basically the first uh, first piece of gear to go on when I start doing any sort of training. Uh, when we start breaking out steel long swords or, or even nylon, I would wear this. Um, it's a pretty essential piece of gear, and I think it's really well made. It's held up excellently. No bit of it is falling apart or anything. Uh, this is made by a guy named Eric up in Vermont. And uh, made in Vermont is a personal, personal plus for me. That's where I'm from originally. Um, uh, he actually makes other armor as well, but right now he's only making gorgets. Uh, he has a post up on his website, which uh, I'll, I'll include his website uh, down below here. Um, he basically is on a bit of a hiatus from armor, but he does still make gorgets. You can place orders for them. There may be a wait, but I honestly think it's worth the wait. These are really, uh, this is just an excellent gorget, I think. Um, very flexible. Uh, let's see, let's, you know, pluses and minuses, really. Uh, very flexible. Uh, fits with all my gear. Uh, protects me very well. Um, I've really had no issues with it, so I can't uh, I can't really list the negatives. Uh, more shoulder protection would be good, but I think that this one has very adequate shoulder protection. Um, I've actually taken hits uh, right here in the front plate, and you know sometimes the the plate will go into your throat a little bit, but it's it's really not that bad. Um, there's enough room in the gorget that it usually has enough room to move back without that happening. Um, but it, personal preference, you may want to put some padding around the uh, the inside because it is steel right against your right against your skin, basically. Which um, I don't mind. You may mind. We'll see. Um, other than that, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This is a excellent gorget made in Vermont. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching again. This is the uh, the Winter Tree Crafts Brigandine Gorget.